In this video, I'll show you how to make a rainbow granny square. For this project, you will need a size H crochet hook, some scissors, a yarn needle, and all the yarn colors that you want for your rainbow. So you'll need a background color and then three colors to make the rainbow. So we're going to start out with the background color, which is like the sky behind your rainbow. So I'm using white, and with this, I'm going to make a magic circle. So just draping the yarn over my hand and then wrapping it around with the X in front, and two lines in back. We're going to grab that second little line, pull it under, and then lock our little magic circle. Now and we're going to pull out our little fingers and we're going to chain two. And then in the granny square, we're going to make 12 double crochets. So this chain two that I'm making right here does not count as a double crochet here or anywhere else throughout this pattern. So now we're going to start 12 little double crochets in this magic circle. Once we have 12 double crochets in our magic circle, we're going to pull our magic circle closed and then we are going to skip over the chain two and slip stitch into the top of the very first double crochet. And now we are ready to start row two or round two. <laughs> and for this, we're going to chain two and then we're going to put two double crochets in this first double crochet and in each of the next three double crochets. But in the very last one, so our eighth double crochet, we're going to be changing to a new color and it's going to be the bottom color of your rainbow. So for me, that's the blue color. So once I've got two double crochets in the first double crochet and the next three, I'm on the last one and I'm going to do two double crochets right here, but I'm stopping before I finish the last one. See how I have two loops on my hook? To add the new color, I'm going to grab my blue and I'm going to pull through the last two loops with my new color. So this is the eighth double crochet. Now I'm going to continue with the two double crochets in every double crochet, but I'm doing it with my new color. And I'm going to crochet over the end of that blue and I'm crocheting over the white, so I'm not cutting it. I'm bringing it with me because we're going to need it on the other side of this. So continuing on with two double crochets in each double crochet, I will have 16 double crochets in blue to make 24 for this round. So for round two, we're ending with 24 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end, but on the very last one, we'll be switching back to white again. So once again, it will be the hmm, 16th <laughs> double crochet in blue where I won't completely finish it. I'll leave two loops on my hook before I pull through with the white. Now I have just done the last two double crochets in blue and I'm going to finish that last double crochet in white and then skip over my chain two and slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet of this round. Now we're ready to start row three, but I am completely finished with the blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. And you can either crochet over the end of it to cover it or you can weave in your ends at the end, it's up to you. Now starting row three, I'm going to chain two. 
and put two double crochets in this very first double crochet. And then I'll do one double crochet in the next double crochet. And I'm going to repeat that three more times. So I'll have a total of 12 double crochets in white, doing two double crochets in one, and then one in the next, two double crochets in one, and then one in the next, and just repeat that until I have 12 white. But once again, on the last white double crochet, which will be my 12th one, I'm going to change to my new color, which for me will be yellow. So before I pull through on my very last two loops of this last double crochet, I'm gonna grab my new color and finish this double crochet in yellow. So now with yellow, I'm pulling through the last two loops on my hook and starting the yellow double crochets. And I'm going to complete continue the pattern, two double crochets in the first one, and then one double crochet in the next one. And again, you can, you can crochet over the tail end of your yellow, or you can weave it in at the end, but I am not cutting the white still, because we're gonna need it on the other side of our rainbow. <laughs> so I'm carrying the white along with me. So two double crochets in the next one, and then one double crochet in the next one, and I'm just continuing that repeat around until the other side, and I should have 24 yellow double crochets at the end. And now on the very last yellow double crochet, I'm going to grab the white and pull through the last two loops on my hook and then slip stitch into the very first double crochet of the round. And now I'm ready to cut the yellow because we're all finished with that and I'm switched back to white. So for this row, I will again chain two and now I'm going to do two double crochets in the first double crochet and one in each of the next two. So the repeat is two double crochets and then one double crochet and then one double crochet. And you're going to repeat that in white once and then three more times. So you'll have four repeats of that. So you should have 16 double crochets in white with the repeat of two double crochets, one double crochet, then one double crochet. And once again, on the very last one, we're going to be changing it to another rainbow color. So for me, this is going to be red. So I'll meet you over there when I'm switching to my red. And now I'm on my last white double crochet, so I'm grabbing my red yarn and I'm going to pull through the last two loops on my hook. And then I'm going to start my double crochets in red. Once again, crocheting over the tail end of the red and carrying the white along with me. And I'm continuing the repeat of two double crochets in one and then one double crochet here and then one double crochet in the next one. So all together, I will have 32 red double crochets and I will be switching back to my white at the very last double crochet. So I will meet you over there when we're ready to switch back to white. And I'm on my very last red double crochet, so I'm going to pull through with my white and then slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet of the round. Now I'm all finished with all of my colors. So I'm going to clip off the red here because we're all finished with it. And now I'm going to continue um, in white. And this row is round Five. Row five, round five, we're going to chain two and put a double crochet in this first stitch. Now in the next stitch, I'm going to do two triple crochets 
and chain three. So one triple crochet here. And then my next triple crochet here. And then I'm going to chain three. Uh, one and a two and a three. And now in the next double crochet, I'm going to do two triple crochets. So in the next one right here. And this will be the starting of our corner for the granny square. Since right now we're working in a circle, we need to turn this into a square. So there are two triple crochets in this double crochet. Now in the next two, I'm going to do a double crochet in each of them. So one double crochet in that one, one double crochet in this one. Now in the next two, we're going to do half double crochets. So there is one and another half double crochet in the next one. Now in the next two, we'll do single crochets. Single crochet, single crochet. In the next one, we'll do a half double crochet. And then in the next one, also a half double crochet. In the next two, we'll do double crochet double crochet in this one, double crochet in this one, and now we need another corner. So two triple crochets in this one. And then we're going to chain three. So here's our chain three, one, a two, a three. And in the next one, we're going to do two triple crochets once again. And now we're going to repeat that around, but I'll do another side with you to make sure you've got it. So we're going to double crochet in the next one and in the next one. So double crochet and then double crochet. Now we're going to do a half double crochet in the next one and a half double crochet in the next one. Now a single crochet in the next one and a single crochet in the next one. Now a half double crochet in this next one and a half double crochet in this next one and then a double crochet in the next one and a double crochet in the next one. Now we've got our two triple crochets. So here's one triple crochet and another triple crochet and then we're going to chain three. You can see the corner starting to form there. There's a one and a two and a three. In the next one, another two triple crochets. So you're going to repeat this pattern around until you get to your very last stitch, which will be a double crochet. And then you will slip stitch into the top of your very first double crochet. So I will meet you there. And now I'm on my very last double crochet and I'm going to skip the chain two and slip stitch into my very first double crochet. And that is the end of row five. You can see it's starting to form into a square and now we are ready to start row six. So I'm going to start this once again with a chain two and then I'm going to double crochet in each stitch around. In every corner, we're going to do two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet. And that is it. So I've done double crochets in these first couple of stitches and I'm on my very first corner. So I'm going to do two double crochets and then chain three, one, two, Three, and then two double crochets. And then we will continue up the next side with double crochets all the way around. So that is it. That is all for round six. You're just going to put a double crochet in every stitch, but every corner gets two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet. So just continue that around and I will meet you at the end of this row. So 
now I'm on my very last double crochet. I'm going to skip the chain two and slip stitch into the top of my very first double crochet. And now I'm all finished. So I'm just going to snip this yarn and pull out my loop. And now I can weave in any ends that I didn't weave in. So I like to crochet over the top of the ends, the first ends where I'm connecting, but then the last ones I weave them in because if I were to carry them along, it would carry them through the white and I don't want the color to show through my white. So that's why I do it this way, but um, you can do it however you like. I mean, honestly, if you crochet over the ends in white, you might not even see them, but I just like to keep my color in my color so that my white looks crisp. So once your ends are all woven in, your rainbow is all finished. Comment down below and let me know what colors you chose. I chose kind of primary colors, but I think this would be equally as beautiful in like, I don't know, pastels like pink and pale yellow and aqua or lavender would be so pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.